What's up guys? Well, trying to cool down this Vega reference model the best I can, so I'm going to try my last ditch effort and use some of this liquid metal compound. I have a sneaking suspicion that no matter what I do and no matter how much 100 volt, this little slab of metal just isn't capable of dissipating enough heat. But we'll see. Hopefully this will actually bring my temps either back to at least what they were or better and not worse again. I'm really hoping I do not make this even worse temps yet again. I just had to stop doing my water cooling build because I missed a, or was missing a piece. This can't fail too. That would be unacceptable. But anyway, let's get that liquid metal on there and spread it around. All right, what well, we got? We got the. Uh, I don't know why it's being so blurry. Uh, we got the. Uh, outside of the process or the GPU all taped up so if some of this happens to uh, leak off the side then you know it won't short circuit anything so let's get it spread all over the place and hopefully we'll get some cooler temps so we've got the liquid metal all on there and then we've got it on there to break the tension and combine them two together. So now let's get this together and pray that it didn't somehow fry my card. Okay. Moment of truth. Okay, what well, power is on? Hey, and we have picture. That's also a good sign. What did I do with my keyboard and mouse? There they are. Sorry about the shaky camera, grabbing a keyboard and mouse. All right, got in the window. It's hard to type with one hand. Anyway, we're going to do what we did last time and run one of these with a 4K optimized. That seemed to get the temperature up the most of any other test that I ran, and we'll see what it gets to and see what the liquid metal compares to the Grizzly. Well, the normal Grizzly Thermal Paste and the stock dried up paste. Which so far, the stock dried up paste has done best, surprisingly. And we're back. And it definitely did improve the temps. We got a max of 79 on the GPU itself. The AGM got up to 86. Uh, the voltage regulators got up to 70 and 66. And the GPU hotspot got up to 87. And the fan speed got up to 3950. Now if we compare that to what it was with the other two here. Here's what it was stock. Just with the nasty paste. Band's spinning up a little higher now, but that's not enough to make that much of a difference. And here's what it got with the uh, Thermal Grizzly, just normal paste. 84, 92, 77, 74. And then 104 on the uh, hot spot. That's the crazy part. So we went from 104 down to 87. So, the uh, liquid metal definitely helped out. Now I just have to tweak that fan speed, and I bet I can keep it up in the 1500s to 1400s on core clock. But anyway, this is a pretty short video, but I just wanted to do a quick update on the Vega. But anyway, till the next video, peace out, guys.